Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to GB Gaming. Today we are going to be continuing our wondrous let's play of our Cardassia campaign. And, as you can see, Captain Picard is having a real bad time. <laughs> as are the feds in general. Uh, let's just undo all of this so we can see what's going on. This is indeed actually Picard. He's uh, he's about to take a pasting, I expect. Um, there are various other people in this uh, the home system of uh, the Federation in this region of space. Uh, it appears that Void has come back for a bit of a go. Uh, looks like there's a nebula as well. Yes, a nebula. We do need to take this out as soon as we reasonably can, the Starfleet Command HQ. And I'm sure we'll get around to doing that. Let's take a look at what's going on in the rest of the map. Uh, we do have a relatively decent amount of territory. Probably about... Uh, maybe half the map. Just shy of half the map, I think. We are being attacked fairly heavily by the Klingons in this region. But, uh, right at the end of the last episode, uh, just after I finished recording, I did call in a secondary fleet. But that fleet's not going to be uh, trying to deal with the Klingons. Oh no. That fleet is going to try and deal with this. The Mirror Sovereign. I don't know if we're in a position to be able to kill it with the small fleet that we're going to send at it. But, <laughs> we're going to try. So, without further ado, I think we're going to continue the episode. Let's just grab this fleet and tell it where we need it to go. It should all travel together. And, oh, that's on pause. There you go. Off you go. That way. Looks like our station is... Yeah, it's still in fine fettle. It's doing absolutely fine. Our turrets are doing what they must as well. Uh, let's just see if we can get any more turrets in this region. I don't know if we can. No, we can't. No. Okay, like, back to where the battle is happening. I will personally be commanding all Cardassian vessels during this mission. <laughs> Seek them out and destroy them. Ah, Goldicat, you magnificent soul, you. Here he is! <laughs> and things are going very well for the Reborn Union. Hopefully we'll be able to take out this planet in the relatively near future. You can see it is healing a bit. Fingers crossed that's not going to be the end of the world. Our fleet has arrived. Our fleet has arrived. You can see we're also researching all of the capital ship levels. We're going to get lots of caps. Lots and lots of caps. Let's see what we can do about Voyager. Don't think she's having a fun time and all the bigger ships are now coming into firing range. She is briefly invulnerable. But the rest of the fleet is getting absolutely mullered. Yes, we're not having any trouble here. Oh, good lord, mines. Ah, they appear to all died. No, no problemo chifo. I will personally be commanding all Cardassian vessels during this mission. Yes, you will. Yes, you will indeed. Oh, look. <laughs> she's just uh, she's just popped her heal ability. And there she is. Let's keep attacking her. While that's happening, let's zoom out. Zoom back into our other fleet. That's fine. Everything is fine there. Not seeing any major concerns here. That Kavek's going to die in short order. The Nerva likely will as well. I don't. Um, I mean, I don't expect that to uh, <laughs> to live. So let's zoom out. The Klingons are not going to be a problem. What is it? Hmm. Right. All ships that can attack the planet do so. It is causing us difficulty. Everyone else. Hostile fleet approaching our territory. That's oh, just a sto oh no, it's a stalker. Let's see if we are in a position to create any more capital ships. I think a legate or two might be uh nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll take two legates, uh, we'll take an extra Archon, another Keldon, and that's all the money that we have at the moment. The planet is now being whittled away at. You 
can see that Kentar has placed lots of bombardment platforms right in front of him. And he's whittling the Federation homeworld away. Our fleet has arrived. And we're now going to face the Sovereign, which is... Oh, its shields have really uh, rebuilt themselves. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. That damage retaliation may be an issue. Can we kill it? That is the question. We do have constructors here, so let's, uh, yes, let's grab ourselves one of these. If we can keep it busy for long enough, we can build lots of defense stations, which I think would be probably a boon. It's clearly enjoying itself. <laughs> Gonna let that battle continue, hoping that uh, it goes well. The Federation at Capital is nearly down. They're just bleeding ships in. It's nothing, uh, nothing that I'm overly concerned about. Three hundred eighty-eight, two hundred eighteen. Come, finish it. Yes. For the Union. Let's take out their uh, ridiculous Starfleet Command HQ. They're still bleeding ships in. Again, it's not going to be a problem for my fleet. Uh, shields are nearly down on that vessel. We're going to have at least two buildings, two buildings, two uh, defense platforms completed in a moment. So what we'll now do, let's move them in. Let's move them in towards the defense platforms, maximize the firepower against the enemy. Uh, let's take an additional cool and all. Additional. Do you know what? Forget the cooling all. I want a hutet. Why haven't I got a hutet? Seems rude not to have one, doesn't it? Haven't quite got this, uh, the fleet capacity, so we'll uh, grab another one of those. Gonna have to wait a little while for the resources. Your Come on, fleet. Bring it in. go. Oh yes, she's falling now. We've drawn her in. There are three defense platforms firing. Mirror Sovereign, Schmirror Sovereign. Oh, there we go. There's a fourth one now firing at it. Hopefully to be a fifth shortly. Quite concerned about that damage retaliation. It does do a great deal of damage. We're now attacking the Starfleet Command HQ. The Klingons seem to have given up their attack, at least temporarily. Which you might think is nice, but... Uh, <laughs> me? It concerns. How are we doing? She's down at 5,000 health. Let's draw her in a little further. Yes. Here goes retreat. Make sure everything is firing. That's it. We're in a position to defeat that now. Just about. The Starfleet Command HQ is down. The Sol Defense Station will soon be down also. And I think... We can colonize their world. We have. We've colonized it. <laughs> Pathetic. 
Pathetic Federation. Let's grab ourselves a trade station because we are a peace-loving people and also a Union Doctrine Center to remind them who their overlords are. Ready. Right. Let's take out that trading port. The enemy don't deserve a trading port in our system. Less than a thousand health for the Mirror Sovereign. 800. 600. Come on, finish her. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. The Mirror Sovereign has been defeated. See, it's not so hard. Right, uh, let's grab ourselves a trade station here. One of these, one of those, probably one of those. I can't really, really remember what we had here. <laughs> Standing by. Construction work is complete. Fire at will. You do not have the appropriate facilities. Oh no, we haven't got the we haven't got the appropriate facilities. Terrible. Right, let's move our fleet back to Tyler Zio. Get what we can. Re, uh, well, <laughs> fixed. <laughs> Everything's broken. You can see we've got a lot of spec and space now for more ships. A second fleet will be built. We Haven't got a lot of money coming in, as you can see. We've only got an income of 36. So. It's going to be a little while until we can afford the 9,500 for the Hutet. We do have to make sure that we are upgrading our worlds reasonably. But, nonetheless, let's move on. Uh, which way? That one is ultimately going to fall because of our culture, so we're going to go this way. Got everything that we need there. Let's take these stations. Excellent. And you can see we have now two legates. Let's take some engineering drones. And... What will you have me do? Ooh. Yes. Uh, lockdown mode. Right away. And Ooh. glorious command. Construction work is complete. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. It is going very well. The enemy have a fleet. I don't think it's going to be enough. It's a poor fleet. An ambassador, no less. Let's kill the Ares very quickly on our way past. If we do that, it's going to lessen, uh, well, effectively lessen their researches and make them poorer in combat. And that's what we want to do. We're hamstringing the enemy. Good. Now, kill the the ambassador. She can't survive long. In fact, I think she's already dead. Right. Onto the galaxy. Well, perhaps not. Onto the intrepid. I need to be concerned about over here. No, there isn't. I think we should move the fleet in that general direction because we'll be able to take out the Maya shipyard. Hostile ships approaching our territory, but uh, awaiting further orders. <laughs> we stand ready. We've got the ships that we all need to protect ready. ourselves. Uh, let's go Hostile with Stellar Shockwave. Oh, hello, fleet. <laughs> Not to worry. Let's sell some of our resources. Huh, and build a hutet. <laughs> our colony is under siege. They somehow appear to have managed to get another ambassador class. 
Let's uh, deal with that, shall we? There it goes. And the Maya shipyard. We must take out. It's quite an extensive Klingon fleet that's coming this way. What shall we build? Got a Miral class constructor over here. I don't think I need that right now. All stations ready. Moving. Increasing engine output. Appears those stalkers are going to be a problem, in fact. Oh, they're discovering big boy tactics. Go, kill the stalkers. See if we can pull them back into our defensive ring. Looks like the stalkers are actually targeting our vessels, which is uh, potentially quite good for us, in honesty. Right, we do have a doctrine center, but it doesn't seem to be doing quite enough to push that culture back. Let's take a second. Grab a couple more Healy Healy stations. Oh yes, we are being we're at there. We're actually taking quite a lot of punishment here. We need to concentrate fire on Martok. Martok is gonna be a problem. Just zoom out a little bit, grab our Iron Order squadrons, and ask them to defeat the Stalker classes. Haven't quite got enough resources to bring in more ships, so let's rectify that, grab them. There you go. Much better. Let's move forward to Chrysanthion, Chrysanthemum, as I like to call it. Doctrine Center has been built. Might be wise for us to get a second set of production facilities here. Engage warp engines. We are losing cap ships now. Quite extensively, actually. You can see that this Keldon's not having a good time. Yeah, there it goes. Come on. Take out the stalkers. Construction work is complete. Has See, nearly everything here is doctrine centers or uh, what, are they, what are they called? Are they called comrades for the feds? Subspace relay stations, yes. And that is why we're struggling. Take these stalkers down. The rest of the fleet will melt without the support of those stalkers. We 
lot of damage has been taken by our station there. Good, next. That's all their stalkers gone. Let's see how close we are to finishing the Hutet. Quite close. <laughs> right. Do we require any more defenses? Yes, we do. Let's grab another turret or two. It's good to make a turret or two. Three more turrets. Ready to fight. Crush them. Another stalker class over there. Cooldown's nearly expired on that, so we will be able to have another one. Oh, lovely. Uh, why don't you take some better glorious command? We're going to take Magnetic Subversion. Take another fighter. Magnificent stuff. Standing by. Oh, that sounded about right. Let's uh, take this world. The feds are... They're on their knees now. I'm surprised that they haven't surrendered entirely. All stations ready. Oh, Gowron. You're just being silly. All stations ready. Target. Good. Give the word. And the Hutet is Moving. here. Interestingly, there appears to be a stalker over there. Should probably deal with that. Right, Hutet. Let's see what we can give you. Uh, I think turret support is always going to be useful. Uh, also, a Norin support would be lovely. Should have taken the Union command deck there, really, but... Uh... Bring us about. Right, let's take a trade station here. Grab all the upgrades that we can. And just in case, we'll take an extra research station. I think we've got everything that we need. We have. A little bit more weapons research. It's hard to say no to that, isn't it? Give the word. All right, Garon, it's your time to die. <laughs> Garon doesn't like that Titan. He's thinking, oh, I'm off. <laughs> but I don't think he's going to escape. Maybe he will. No, no. <laughs> no, he won't. And beautifully, the Hutet has just leveled up. Uh, let's give her a better command deck. Ooh, it's, it's difficult. Uh... Yes, let's give better damage reduction bonuses to the Hutet as well. She has eight unspent command points for fighters. Sir, confirmed. Beautiful. We are yours to command. I am proud of what we have achieved today. For Cardassia. Oh look, she's leveled up again somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> let's give her additional defenses. Um May as well give that to Torpedo Barrage. Work is what level is the Hutet already? Oh, she's still only level 3. That's it. That's still pretty damn good, though. Standing by. Standing by. Helmsman. Full impulse. Excellent. 
Absolutely magnificent. Let's take one of those legates that we lost. Construction work is complete. Oh look, we own a New Orleans class. <laughs> And we have occupied this world. The next world that we're going to go for is this one here. Which I think might be the last one. Aside from possibly the Class M Industrial here. They're still alive. They're still in the fight, technically. I don't think they're very in the fight, but they're still there. <laughs> I cannot comply. This fleet has done remarkably well. We're I didn't expect to it to in. do everything that it needed. But it has. Let's just make these guys into a fleet together. Sell a couple of bits and bobs. Grab ourselves another Kulino. Uh, we'll probably grab another Archon and Keldon as well. Keldon? Keldon. Make sure everything is as upgraded as it can be from a tax perspective. Yes. We're actually making less tax than we were. Damn it. Construction work is complete. <laughs> but I think after this planet, the Federation may just surrender. Don't want to make any guarantees. Let's see what this world brings. Standing by. Nothing that I'm concerned about at all. Engage warp engines. But this is a class J Saturnian. Look at all the resources that we could get here. Awaiting orders. Kill it. Nearly got enough to do what we want to do. Let's just sell a little bit of that. Oh no, we don't have available ship slots. I'm sad now. Can we upgrade any further? No! We're approaching full fleet size. Give the word. What's a gull to do? Uh, let's take an arc on, let's take a Keldon. How we managed to get to nearly full fleet size. Let's take some more damage reduction. We stand prepared. And ooh, ooh. the radionic storm sounds fun. Really want to know if the Federation's going to fall after this. What's this? They own this world. They own this world. We are yours to command. I'm concerned that they might just try and sneak forces down this way. So let's uh, let's protect ourselves. We do need a lot more resources for the monarch, but uh, we can wait. We can wait. Our secondary fleet here again for the uh, Klingon push is in the middle of being built. Grab its lockdown mode. More fighters. Has been detected approaching our territory. Where? Oh, Kessox. I don't know why they'd want to do that. It's just rude of them. There we go. That should be enough defences. It's just a single Kessox like cruiser. Standing by. It's 
nearly down. Will the Federation decide to give up? I don't think they will. Knowing now that they have taken Karkamesh. And they also, of course, have uh, probably, uh, they've probably got uh, this one, uh, Chirenze, Chirenza. I don't think they'll have uh, Agathias. I think the Klingons will hold that. But I think we might have to bring our fleet this way. A hostile fleet has been detected yeah. Our territory. They haven't, uh, they haven't fallen. Let's take the option to take some more defences here. Take some healing hubs and some additional turrets. It's going to be painful for the enemies. Kessok heavies as well. It looks like a mad Kessok fleet. Oh, hello. My my. It's all happening. A little bit more Tritania would be good right about now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Defend me, O turrets of Cardassia, please. Protect the Union. No act is out of bounds. No cost is too great. What will you have me do? Helmsman. Colonize this world. There we go. It's fair to assume that they're going to go here. What will you have do? Construction work is complete. This world has been occupied. And I think we're in the driving seat now. Once that Kassok ship arrives, it's probably going to be obliterated. <laughs> Ready to fight. The Klingons have backed off for the time All being. Probably not a permanent uh, condition, but not a bad, not a bad situation to be in. Not a bad situation at all. I'm quite happy. I really thought we'd have finished off the feds this episode. I genuinely did, but we haven't. And I should probably pause at this point because I think we've had our half an hour allotted time. So. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really proud of what we achieved this episode. We've basically blotted out the Federation and taken all their territory. Aside from Karakamesh and possibly uh, Chayarenza. That's going to be one for the next episode. And also, of course, we are building our second expeditionary fleet down here. Around Tyler Azure, which has been the subject of so many Klingon attacks. We will strike back from their target, and we will strike hard with the glorious Hutet. It is ready to fight. It is ready to kill. Cardassia is reborn. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please do like, please do subscribe, and absolutely, please do comment, because that's my favorite thing about making videos. Comment, comment, comment. Lots of them. <laughs> and of course, share the video if you think you have like-minded individuals who might also enjoy it who haven't seen it. Thank you very much for watching. This is The Gull, out.